Hi, welcome back. Um, we're going to put in a navigation bar and uh, I'm just going to jump straight to it because um, we've got loads we need to get through. Um, so the last thing I did was to put in a logo into my header here um, and now I'm going to put in a navigation bar running along underneath about here is where I'm going to put the navigation bar. So I'm going to click just below and I'm going to insert a div again. So go to my div icon and this one I'm going to call nav, um, could call it navigation uh, but you know this is quite a long word for us to have in our folders and we all know what nav means so let's keep it short and sweet so call it nav, new CSS rule uh, make sure it's saved to this uh, style.css file we have here and I'm going to press ok and I'm going to set uh, the background colour for my navigation bar um, I don't know, let's go for like a, a bluey colour and uh, I'm going to set the box and if you remember last time we set the width as a percentage um, we set it as 75% and the header uh, ended up being 75% of the wrapper um, this time I'm going to set my width as uh, 100% so it stretches all the way across the box um, and I don't need to set the margins this time because if you imagine 100% it's stretching the whole width um, I don't need to worry about gaps either side within my wrapper ok is there anything else I need to think about? Mm, no I'm going to press apply and ok fab ok I'm going to press ok um, so you'll see my blue navigation bar has appeared and I think I want to put some um, buttons into here and I've saved some graphics of buttons into my images folder and I'm going to grab those now and put them into this navigation div. Okay so go to insert and we want uh, image and automatically it's come up with my images folder. Um, if it didn't I could always go to my desktop and pick it up from there and you see I've got a blue button and a white button and I've saved them as .pngs okay you want to make sure you're saving your files with transparencies on uh, if at all possible um, and that's just you know so that things sort of appear uh, more professional on the page um, but we'll talk about that another time okay so I'm going to go for um, I'm going to go for the white button first of all choose and you'll see this dialog box appears and it gives me an option to put in some alternative text now this is great for people that need to use screen readers um, you know where things are, are read out uh, to them and this is part of accessibility as well for people that, that use the web in uh, in ways you know where they have to have things maybe read to them or their eyesight is not so great um, so we need to provide some alternate text and I'm gonna have the word I think menu I think this first button is going to take me to menu page um, for my cafe and I'm going to press OK and you'll see my button has appeared here now this says download but um, this is just a button I took from the internet um, you might want to design your own this might say menu and this could take you to a menu page I'm going to delete this text here this is the placeholder text let's get rid of that Okay, and I'd actually, I think I'd like to make this into a rollover. Um, I'd like this to change colour when somebody rolls over it, when somebody puts their cursor over it. So I'm going to go to insert, image objects, rollover image, uh, image name, I'm going to call it menu 2. And my original image, I'm going to put in here, this was the white button choose and my rollover image I'm going to use as the blue button okay so I've literally just changed the colour on my graphic files um, and I've made sure they're both the same size uh, alternate text menu food available 
to order here and when clicked go to URL now I haven't created another page yet in my site but this is where I could uh, indicate that when somebody clicks on this it will take you to a new page now um, I'm going to link it to the only page I've got so far which is my index.html um, but if I had other pages this is where I would choose those other pages okay, I'm going to press choose and I'm going to press OK Okay, right. Let's have a look then and see if this will work. I'm going to go here, preview in Safari, save. Okay, let's have a look when this is loaded if we have ourselves a rollover. Great, okay, so I've got a rollover there. Really, really simple to, to put in. Okay, and I've got my original one here. Okay. So it's up to you, you might want rollovers, you might just want images that link. In fact, I'll show you how to link an image on its own uh, now and then we'll finish up the video. So I'm going to go back onto my Dreamweaver page. If you remember, this was the first image that I input. Okay, I'm going to go down here and I can actually point to any file from my site folder and we've actually if you look here I've got that index page well it's the page that I'm working on at the moment because I've only made one page so far so you can do it this way or you can double click the folder and you can actually select a file from in here okay again I've only created one page so far so I'm gonna relink it to the same page There's not really any real reason for doing that I just haven't created any other pages yet Press choose, okay, and preview in Safari, and let's see if that refreshes the page when I click on it. So yep, you can see up there, in the top left hand corner, the page is refreshing itself, it's relinking to itself. So in the next video, I guess we'll create some more pages, um, link those, um, I'll just show you a couple of other options for, for things that you can do in Dreamweaver, but I mean, pretty much those are the basics. Uh, send me any questions hopefully I can answer them yeah so the following videos then will, will just be really um, just showing you a, a greater variety of things that, that you can do in Dreamweaver